Next week, what we're going to be talking about in next Sunday's live, catch us at 6 p.m. Next Sunday's live, we're going to be talking about the crazy high prices. So you've got interest rates on new at 9.95%. Thank you, Car Edge, for giving us that plug. So that's the U.S. market, of course, and used at 14.16%. So it is hard to get a good deal, and you can almost get the impression that there's no good deal to be had. You, you watch YouTube. You read media and you'd think that it's an awful time to buy anything, any used or new vehicle. And here's the thing. It's not a horrible time to buy a new or used vehicle. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, used vehicles, their prices have gone down. Yes, new vehicles, uh, the average you know, at Toyota, the average price is up 8%. Uh, it's gone, it's up to 42208 and that's compared to just a year ago. Now, they've actually gone all up more around 25% over since 2019, but inflation has been at about 20%. So that's something to keep in mind. Their prices have gone up a little bit more than inflation. That's because there's demand and they're also, surprisingly, with higher production than they've ever had, but somehow... Canada and U.S., their dealers have very few vehicles. So a little, a little suspicious going on there. Comment what you think's going on. Are they deliberately keeping production, not production, production's higher than it ever, ever has been, but are they deliberately keeping inventory at dealers low so that they can get people to swallow the pill of them increasing prices above inflation so their prices are going up? Interest rates have gone up a lot. But there are still some really good deals to be had. And here are my tricks, folks. Tips and tricks to save you thousands of dollars. Look at who has less sales. Or, which isn't always a, a sure and guaranteed way. Because let's see right here. Right now, the Ford Escape is up 9.56%. Success story. Ford is selling more Ford Escapes than they were a year ago. They're selling more compared to their competitors a year ago. So the Escape is moving up the most sold sales list. You've got Honda CRV, 58.9% increase. Toyota RAV4, 8.35% increase. Nissan Rogue, 49.19%. Hyundai Tucson, 26.56% increase. That's, you know, Subaru, 58% increase. Why? Because the production was hor the production was horrible a year ago, but Ford Escape, 9.56% more sales, and that actually does mostly come down to production. But if you want a good deal on a, on a vehicle right now, you could look at the Escape, but I'd look at the Bronco Sport. Here are the models at Ford that I'd look at. The Bronco Sport, you can either get a rebate or a low interest rate, and the low interest rate on a 2023 Bronco Sport is impressive. You can get $5,000 off a Ford Edge. You can get $5,500 off a Ford F-150, and do we have 10% interest on any of these vehicles? 10% interest, or just about, is the average interest rate across all brands. But guess what? The F-150, you're going to spend about 5% interest and get a $5,000 rebate. The Ford Edge, you're going to get this month a $5,000 rebate and half, like 5 6% less interest than the average interest rate. Now the Escape, if you're looking at a plug-in, here's a common theme. If a vehicle is rare, you're going to pay more interest. So the Ford Maverick, you're going to pay about 8% interest. A Ford Bronco, you're going to spend about 8% interest. A Ford Escape plug-in, very rare, you're going to spend about 8% interest. Now, for all the gas saving, I think the Escape plug-in is an amazing machine. Mm -hmm. If you look over at the RAV4 Prime, the RAV4 Prime from Toyota, in many dealers, in our region, in our entire province, almost every dealer, you're looking at a three, was a five-year wait, and it's now a three-year wait. Has demand gone down? No, production has gone up. Does it look like demand is wildly high at Toyota and Honda? Yes, because their lots are empty. But that is just a really weird and highly suspicious situation. Because they're building more than ever before. But there are dealer lots here where they happen to make less profit than in other markets. That's where... Their dealer lots seem to have very few vehicles. And generally, as a general rule, if you've got a model and there aren't very many of them available, it's going to be hard getting a good deal on them. Why can you get a good deal on a Ford F-150 right now? Because there's a lot available and Ford is pretty smart. 
I think Stellantis right now is not being very smart because they've got really high, many, many days supply available, over 100 days supply available. That means on average, it takes them well over 100 days to sell their vehicle. They're paying 8% interest on those vehicles sitting at the lots. The dealers must be fuming mad at Stellantis, at Dodge and Ram and Jeep right now. You get next to no rebate on a Jeep right now, and that's ridiculous. They've got a ton of a ton of them. So they're just not going with what's logic. What's logic is if you have a lot of a model, you drop an S, a discount on it in the form of a rebate or in the form of a better interest rate or a mix of the two. And that's what's going on at Ford right now. So if you want a good deal, look at the models that Ford has available. They've got a lot of F-150s available. Heck, we pretty much have as many we're, we've got so many vehicles right now. It's We've got some of the highest inventory we've ever had. And it wasn't the case two months ago. And I told you it wasn't the case when people were saying it's the case. Now it is the case. So when it comes to the UAW strike, can Ford dealers last a while? Yes, because they've got so much inventory. But it's a great time to get a good price on an F-150, on a Ford Edge, on a Ford Bronco. Uh vehicle distribution across the country you can see what states interestingly enough you can pause this and you know look at look at it pretty interesting what states prefer which vehicle so yellow is the rav4 as you can see rav4 being very popular on the east coast and also in the northern west coast I see a lot of blue and green California, yeah, blue and green. So blue and green, Chevro Chevrolet, Sil Silverado, uh, darker green, Tesla Model Y. So Tesla Model Y, big surprise, very popular in California. That's their main mm -hmm. deal. Red is the Toyota, what is that, the Toyota Corolla in red? So Florida seems to, If I'm, I'm a little yeah. colorblind here, but... Yeah, you have trouble with the red, just uh, show me the... Yeah. the Florida here. So very popular. Hawaii, that's another to to Toyota brand. The mm -hmm. Toyota Tacoma, very popular over in Hawaii. Uh, the Ram, you've got the purple. And the Ford F-Series, you've got the blue. So I a lot of blue. blue on the map. Ford, way to go. Those are your most popular models uh, by state. And let's see here. Prices have gone up. Look, these are used vehicles. And used vehicle prices have gone up. We're looking at 2018 here. And as the years progress, you're at 2020 here. Inventory started to go down. Manufacturers like eventually realized, gosh, we need to increase prices. Inflation's killing our bottom line and we've got no vehicles on lots left. And now the prices on new vehicles and used vehicles are coming down. So you can get a good deal. You just need to shop it and you need to know and be able to tell a dealer that says, oh, well, we're going to sell you this vehicle at an MSRP. Well, if it's a dealer that has, heck, 100 F-150s or 200 F-150s for sale, or they're a small dealer and they've got 10 F-150s for sale, but they're a really small dealer. doesn't make sense. They wouldn't be giving you a rebate. So look, two ways you can arm yourself. You can tell them, well, you've got a lot of those vehicles and you're paying 8% interest on them. So for me to take them, I'm going to need you to drop the price and then negotiate a price with them. And make sure you have built the vehicle online and you do know what available rebates are for that vehicle because that's going to protect you but used prices definitely coming down you see suvs prices have come down 6.7 percent since september 2022 cars prices down used prices down 5.2 percent pickup trucks prices up 1.2 percent uh, it would seem used trucks, uh, but uh, the, there's still a down on that. So they're maybe up from a month ago, uh, but that doesn't make sense. I'd say they forgot to put the negative on this chart because that is definitely down from the peak. Luxury SUVs down 6.7%. Luxury cars down 11.2%. You want a stinking hot great deal? Look for a readily available, a high on lot model luxury vehicle should be having seeing a drop of 11.2 percent on that used hybrids and evs in general down 20.3 percent wow nice. a lot of that has to do with ford's price drops and a lot of that has to do with tesla's price drops vans down 4.2 percent so be armed with this knowledge so you can save all sorts of money folks now 
We're going to end the show on that positive note, how to save thousands of dollars, build the vehicle online so you know what the real price is, you know what the manufacturer rebates are, because I'm telling you folks, a lot of dealers will try to keep part of or all of the manufacturer's rebate, and sometimes they've got a $5,000 rebate, or let's say it's Ram. Ram traditionally always had like 15, 20% off their truck. So many times I'd see them tell customers, hey, I'll give you 5,000 in rebate, and I'll give you 5,000 more than anyone else for your vehicle vehicle because I like you bud but what was really going down is they had seventeen thousand dollars in rebates they were giving out ten and guess what they're pocketing seven thousand dollars they're stealing seven thousand dollars of your money and is it legal yes can you cry about it after you've bought yes will anything get done will you ever see that money again no you will not so you need to watch this show you need to be properly armed because People, it's a jungle out there and everyone, everyone, everyone's trying to screw everyone. We're all like a bunch of horny rabbits or dogs. We're all just trying to screw each other, unfortunately. And there's very few people out there that are going to think of the common good 